seat souls, welcome back and hey to everyone that is new as well. Um, so those of you that are new, my name is Ali, this is Baby Hunter. Um, he is showing up on your videos at the moment because I am currently on maternity leave and last week I didn't put him on a video and I got loads of messages from you all saying, where's Hunter? Where is he? So here he is, he's come to say hi to you all um, and wish you an absolutely blessed week. So, um, currently on maternity leave, I'm working one day a month at the moment. We are really restricted by UK law in England about how much we can work, but I am full back to it full time at the start of August. I think it's the 5th or the 8th. I think it's the 8th. Um, that's when I can start working again. Yippee. So I will be back to work doing private readings then full time. At the moment, I'm doing one day a week. Um, no, I'm not. I'm doing one day a month. <laughs> um, so I'm fully, May readings we did last week, they were super epic. June readings I'm fully booked for, but I do have a couple of spaces left for July if you want to book in. Um, I'm just asking that you pay a deposit and then the rest of the money nearer to the time. Um, so yeah, so one day, uh, space is left for July um, and then back to work full time in August. How neat is that? So this week, what happened? Well... What a dramatic start to a Sunday, Monday, that we had. Uh, so those of you that aren't following me on Instagram, you can go and find us over there. It's just Mystic Love Tarot. You can send a follow, follow request. And the reason why you can send a follow request is because we got impersonated. Um, somebody stole my persona and my personality and made a fake Instagram account and then messaged you all and said, would you like a reading, my beloved? And it was all a load of bollocks. So I woke up uh, to do a night feed, like two o'clock in the morning, and had like 50 messages from you all saying, is this you, Ali? Is this you? So I had to reply to you all saying no. And then we all went on this big, great big protest to get the profile shut down, and we did. Um, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, I now have got it set to uh, private. So send follow requests and I will accept them for you. Um, and it's just Mystic Love Tarot. Okay, just Mystic Love Tarot. No double L's like the fake account was. No underscores, no nothing. It is literally Mystic Love Tarot. And any email address that isn't mysticlovetarot at gmail.com is not me, okay? I have one account. That is the only account I will ever have. Um, so please just be careful because there's a lot of scummy scumbags out there that will try and steal the money out of you. Um, also, with readings, I will never message you first, okay? I will always let you be the ones to message. So if you need me, you guys come towards me and I will respond to you. Um, so you can message me on Instagram Messenger. You can add um, the group Mystic Love Tarot. I'm also on Facebook, Mystic Love Tarot as well. And like I said, those are my only accounts. So that happened. <laughs> what else happened this week? So I went to a witch fest on Saturday, took this little moon to witch fest, um, ended up with this beautiful, beautiful piece of artwork. So those of you that have been to Goddess Temple in Glastonbury, she's from there. She is hand drawn. She is, well, she's hand painted. All of this is original painting. It's amazing. Um, and I ended up with her to come and watch over your readings for you. I just fell in love with her. She's absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. Obviously you've got Glastonbury Tour at the top. You can't see the top of the painting, but there is um, the, the Great Bear is up here. Um, me, uh, star Astrology, Great Bear. What's it called? Constellation. <laughs> um, then you've obviously, you've got the, the Home of the Fae. As you go into the tour, you've got the underworld there, and then you've got Astara, the, the goddess of spring, and lots of little bunnies. I don't think you can see, you've got lots of little bunnies coming over here. So you've got Astara, goddess of spring. Someone said to me, she looked like me. I was like, oh, thanks. Um, but she's come into your into our house to help watch over your readings for you, and I just totally fell in love with her. And like I said, she's original artwork, so um, totally blessed that she she's ended up with us. What else happened at Witch Fest? Well, I, got, I had mead, quite a bit of mead. That was fun. Um, and uh, danced, spoke to a lot of people, made a lot of new friends. Um, it was a really, really good day. The mead was in the evening. Like It's only around the corner from where I live, so we came home, dropped baby off, got my partner to do baby care, and I went out for the night. It was my first night out since before being pregnant, so... And even before that, because of, of lockdown, so probably last first night out since 2019, and the mead found me, and it was epic. It was really, really good. Um, so that is our news. That's our update. Um, I love you all to pieces. Here's time to say bye bye to you all. He's very curious these days. Um, he's doing super good. No news to report there. Uh, just ticking along, rolling around. Happy little baby. He's doing really well. 
um all right guys have a totally blessed week um and again if you add this on instagram just missed it love tarot facebook is just missed it love tarot i will never have another account those are the only accounts that i have um enjoy the reading i'll be back with you next week uh subscribe ciao welcome back hope you had a totally blessed week this week um so what we're doing this week is what is happening that you don't know about now i love these kind of questions because it really opens up the channel for the tarot to work for you um so i'm gonna ask you now are you a moon child or are you a star child pick your deck moon star where are you drawn to okay deck number one deck number two moon deck number one star deck number two and let's go. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. These decks are absolutely beautiful, beautiful, but they are very, very large, large cards to shuffle. Um, so just bear that in mind. The message in the back of the dark says you are the dance of light and shadow. OK, so straight away, we're getting that sense of duality happening. So what's happening with deck number one that they don't know about? Wee! It's good that I don't have a massive pregnancy bump now because before, um, they're so sticky, I need to get them in flower. Before, when I did, I couldn't bend when I threw things on the floor. What's happening that you don't know about? I'm just going to get five, three, good cards. So these are actually talking about things just from your point of view and your perspective. Four. You see the stickiness of it. What's happening that you don't know about? Very mystical cards happening here. Five. Okay. So let's talk about you. Let's talk about you and your person, and let's talk about the overall energy of what is happening that you're not aware of. So the first thing that's coming up is that this is a universal connection. This is a spiritual connection. This is a higher frequency connection. This is likely to be twin flames, false twin flames on occasions, higher vibrational soulmates, all that kind of energy coming forward with you guys. Now, the first thing that you won't be aware of is that there is a karmic debt that is being cleared at this point in time. So if you are feeling that the energy has been heavy, if things have not been going in your favour, if it's been a little bit shite, um, it's because that karmic energy around you both is clearing at this moment in time. Very strong universal connection over here. Um, I'm also hearing with this make a wish, make a dream, make it come true. Um, and with that, I'm getting that song from... Uh, was it Peter Pan about when you wish upon a star? So you've got this very strong spiritual connection happening with you both. At this moment in time, what you don't know about is that the karmic energy is being cleared in the connection, that the universe has got your back and that it's, it is working with you to achieve the goals and desires that you want. We've also got the moon energy going on over here. Again, my moon, my moon, my moon children. Um, so what this is saying is that there's been a cycle that's been happening with you both. That cycle has now been drawing to a bit of a close, ready for the next chapter to begin. Shadows have probably been illuminated within the connection, which is why you might think it's not working in your favour. But it is through the shadows that we see the light. And that is where this duality is at the bottom of the deck where your duality is coming forward okay so again very strong connection right and wrong good and bad light and dark that shadow side of things you balance each other the yin and yang connection that was really deep <laughs> it was really really deep okay so next card over here we have the nine of pentacles it's talking about time that you've been focusing on yourself, that you've been doing this kind of inner work, this self-love that has been opening up doors for you and if those doors haven't opened yet they are about to. And with that, I just got a clairvoyant of the labyrinth where the two doors are there. It says, which way do you want to go, up or down? You are the keeper of your destiny. The doors are opening for you. Walk through the one that feels right, okay? Two choices for a lot of you. A lot of truth that you are gonna be going through two choices on what you want to do. Um, pathways for each of those choices that you take will actually all kind of lead to the same destination, which is quite interesting. So don't be afraid to take the chances. Don't be afraid to, you know, go on the pathways and make a choice on it because all roads will lead to the same destination because of the divine connection between you both. 
doorways are opening, walk through them. Um, if we all stay stagnant forever, you won't create those changes and those changes are there to help build universal connection. Following on from that, you've got the star, really positive cards about being on the right path. Star always makes me think of the king's following the star to get to baby Jesus. Um, I'm not religious, I am pagan, but that energy always comes forward with um, the star card for me. It's talking again about being on the right path. Whichever destined road you go, you will head to the same destination, which is the star. There's hope, there's faith, there's dreams, there's ideals, and there is a spiritually divine connection that is holding the two of you together, getting ready for things to blossom into your favour. OK, you've got the two pillars over here symbolising the duality between you both as well. And the cup, the chalice is full. So a very strong emotional connection where there is emotional fulfilment. OK, so what you don't know at the moment is that you're going through what you're going through for the new doorways to open, for things to actually turn into your favour with you and your person. And the last two cards coming up over here, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. This is your symbolic connection. Okay, I'm actually going to pull one more for the centre ground between the two of you. King of Pentacles is your person. Remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but it does work with male and female energies, tarot, um, and you are the Queen of Cups. So your person, um, once you establish these changes, you go into the star energy. Your person um, is going to be feeling a lot more stable with regard to the connection. Okay, giving you a much more stable outcome, stable journey stable progression talking to you perhaps about how they're feeling and you over here your queen of cups this is your energy you're going to be feeling a lot more emotionally stable so per your person will be physically stable with regard to the connection you will feel emotionally stable with regard to the connection you're both forward focusing which means that you're both going to be looking towards the future and the card between the both of you is the wheel of fortune okay so this card talking over here about um the cycle being broken where you guys have been going round in this cycle again the moon energy where you've been going around in a cycle that is going to break as the khaleesi would say we're going to break the wheel okay the wheel will break and fortune turns into your favor changes there's the doorway okay it's going to be about walking through it taking those steps to progress things forward balancing those dualities um, and through the balancing of those dualities the new opportunities come your way and you can progress things into your favor so what's happening that you don't know about? Overall, a lot of divine energy is at play here. A lot of spirit looking after you. Um, if you've been getting frustrated at your guides, you can take a step back from that now because they're there to help you. They're looking after you. Um, you and your person are going to be going towards what you both want. At the moment, you've both got different um, ideas of how that could show up in your life, but you are both are heading towards the same objective, okay? Um, working things out really working things out it's good it's good cards really good cards and with that again i'm just going to finish off there's your two doors look your two choices all roads are going to lead to the same destination um which is things moving with your person forward step much more stable energy the two doors the stability walk through them don't be afraid don't be afraid my love don't be afraid um it's all really good stuff and that my moon children is that number one? I love you all to pieces. I will speak to you soon. Many, many goddess blessings your way. Ciao, Bellas. Okay, guys, that number two, my star children. So this one um, is talking about the star energy and at the bottom of it it says Akashic. I read the message for deck number one at the box um, so I'm going to show you that one as well. We are all stardust and um, very strong spiritual energy coming through this deck. I don't use it often, um, but it is, it's a beautiful deck. So let's see what's happening that you don't know about with regard to you, with regard to your connection, with regard to everything. So what is happening that deck number two does not know about? And I'm just going to pull five. Five cards is all we need. So I'm getting uh, Chicha -ch Changes, Turn to Face the Strange Chicha -ch Changes by David Bowie. That's coming forward in your energy, my loves. If you haven't looked at Soul Origins uh, for you and your person, it might be worth having a look at that. It also might be worth looking at the numerology between you both. 
and quite um, importantly, we've got the Akashic Records card literally jumping out. Um, this will be the World card in normal tarot. But the Akashic Records over here might be worth having a look at visiting them. So the Akashic Records for you guys, uh, for those of you that don't know, it's a bit like an ephoral internet um, where it tells you all your things that have been, will be and are. OK, um, some people often see it as a library. But you can tap into this Akashic Records at any time. You have permission um, to find out your soul searching and soul meanings. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please have a Google. Um, there's some really good books out there um, where you can get the access to actually see your records and see stuff that's about to happen, where things are going. So that being said, what we don't know about, you have a divine connection. You are at one with the world, at one with the universe. You are a star, a star child, so your soul origin is likely to be a little bit further out. Um, you've had multiple, multiple lifetimes on this earth, which is why some of you guys are going to be thinking like the karma is being shit hits the fan a lot of the time in your life. Um, so you've had that energy that you've come down to earth. You've been feeling a little bit left out. You don't really know what's happening. You're not feeling as if you fit in. And everything that is happening on a universal level at the moment is really upsetting you, which is, you know, totally, totally common, um, especially when you are a starseed that's come down to, to centre and earth. OK, so the first two cards over here are the moon and starseed. Now, I like this because this is automatically showing the divine connection that you have with the other energies of interplanets. OK, if you haven't looked at astrology as well, it might be something that you guys want to be having a look at. So you have the moon card, which symbolizes um, things coming to the forefront that haven't been seen before. So when we're asking what you don't know about, other than talking through the things that you can do to help, this is talking about your connection, that things are going to come to the surface that you haven't seen before. And they're actually, with star, star seed right next to it, these things that are coming up to the surface are actually going to be in your favour. OK, so it could be that your person's going to start talking to you about emotions. It could be that they're going to start talking to you about how they're feeling, what they want, what pathway they want to go down, what direction they're heading with you. But things that they have seen that they have hidden from you for so long is now coming up to the surface for you. And there is going to be communication over that with this air energy. Sorry about that, guys. Baby woke up. So... Yeah, communication coming in from the air. And that's where the Knight of Swords steps next into your energy. So this is a quick movement coming in. This is a quick movement of communication happening. Your person is going to communicate with you with a sense of urgency. And it might feel as if it's coming out of nowhere. You're going to suddenly give up all hope that you're never going to speak to them again or that they vanished into the sunset and then bam, out of nowhere, this communication is going to come towards you. And it's forward focused, OK, so it's going to be talking about where you are, where you're heading, what's kind of going, currently going on with you guys. Um, and if there is a progression route, we have the, the whole energy at the moment telling them jumping down the black hole. Your person's actually going to communicate to you quite openly, quite honestly um, and give you this kind of that's jumped down the rabbit hole, this Alice energy, you know, where is this connection going? Let's go for it. Let's take a leap of faith. Let's jump. And this is what your person is going to communicate to you. The blocks that have been holding them back in the past are now going to be released. Let's find out why. Why are those blocks going to be released? Why are those blocks going to be released? Okay, they've been thinking about it all for a while. Ending of cycles, um, ready for the new ones. The mists are clearing is what Spirit is saying. So they probably had quite foggy heads over the situation with you guys. They haven't really been sure what it is that they want. The mists are clearing. What's caused those mists to clear has been time, has been circumstances and has been situation, depending on where you are with your person individually. So that's the group split. Um, you've got longer term objectives coming in here. Okay, progression routes again with the unicorn striving for the desired outcome. And that's where that amazing quick moving movement of communication is coming forward. So you're not sure about that either. Overall over here, your outcomes, you have the three of cups. So this is your celebration. Okay, um, this is the new beginnings stepping in your favour, favour? stepping in your direction, new beginnings, celebrations, things working out for you guys. Um, and again, with the Akashic Records over here, as we spoke about at the start, um, something that's 
been premeditated with this connection is that you guys have been moving forward with it will be moving forward with it sorry um it's really important that you know that most things in life aren't premeditated but a lot of the stuff like this will always be there so it's already kind of in your akashic records that you guys will have this upsurge of communication this quick movement coming in due to circumstances changing into your favor and that is what you don't know about okay so movement coming in stuff moving forward with you guys endings of cycles definite uh swaying of the moon here as well so you might find when the full moon hits this is more likely when it's going to happen where this this quick movement comes in on the on a full moon um you are going to be feeling extra emotional on those full moons as well because the majority of you here get affected by the moon don't know if you've ever known that or noticed that uh, but 98 percent of our body is full of water so when the moon is full just like the tides the tides go in and out and they go a bit crazy and a bit hectic it's what happens within our energy field within our body as well because of the fluid in it so we get affected by the moon which makes you more emotional communication quite rapid communication coming forward and that my friends is what you don't know about pretty neat and perhaps quite a bit of homework on that for you as well that's step number two guys my beautiful star children i will speak to you soon have a totally blessed week uh lots of love your way ciao